Welcome to the first COMSOL tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you very briefly an example what you can do with COMSOL. With COMSOL you can do you can simulate basically everything. What I found so far on the COMSOL webpage and on YouTube were examples that were too elaborate and too advanced. So with this tutorial I want to show you just basic you can do really simple simulations. Okay, so this is the example that I will cover in this tutorial very shortly. It's a dipole that is um, oscillating in this direction where my mouse cursor is. And what you can see here in this picture is the power that it's emitting to the sides. Okay, so very briefly, we what we will do is we will start, we will make a model um, with definitions, our geometry is a rectangle that is just one micron times one micron. Then we will put a point in the center. Then we will say the material is just air. And then we will add an electromagnetic wave uh, with a scattering boundary condition that is all around this square. That means all the waves can exit this square. Nothing is reflected and we add an electric point dipole exactly on the point that we defined in the center and we say its magnitude is minus one in x and one in y that means it's oscillating like this and then what we do next we mesh it to make a nice mesh and then uh, we say what frequency it should simulate and this is uh, for 500 nanometers and then we say simulate and we will get this result. From the beginning, so this is the start screen. We want to make a two dimensional simulation. We select from radio frequency electromagnetic waves because this is what we want to simulate and we select frequency domain and then we say finish. For um, the geometry, we say we want to have micrometers and degrees and what we do now is we define our geometry. This is the first step. So we right click on geometry and we say, for example, we want to make a square. And a square should have 10 microns and uh, it should be located minus 5, minus 5. And if we say build, then there it is. And in the zero point, we put a little spot or a little point. This we do with this one. Right click on geometry, point and zero, zero, build. So here is our point where we put our dipole in. Next step, define the material. For this we right click on material, open material browser and we say vacuum or what we could say air and we see what's in built in air. This is what we want. Right click on it, add material to model. And what we see, the whole square was added to this new material. Next step is defining the electromagnetic wave. And if we take a look here, there is a perfect electric conductor. If we click on it, we see all the boundaries of our square are selected. And this is what we don't want. We want to have this boundaries transparent for electromagnetic waves. So we say scattering boundary condition and we select all of the planes by clicking on them and then right click gets them into the selection box or we say control A for select all and right click and then all of those are inside and if you take a look at the perfect electric conductor here all of these values are overridden now so they are not uh, anymore in this box because we have new values here and so the old ones are overridden steps defining the dipole so we right click on the electromagnetic wave we say point and then we say electric point dipole and then it asks us where to put it so the selection in what point should it put the dipole so we click on this point that we put in the center right click on it and then it goes to the selection box and now we have to define what magnitude is the dipole and we could say here, for example, we just take the dipole moment and say it's minus 1 and 1. That means it will be minus 1 in x direction and 1 in y direction. That means it will be oscillating 
like this and that means the um, the wave will go in that direction perpendicular to it okay so we define that the next step would be to mesh our geometry so if we just say mesh then we see these are the little triangles but they are not small enough so if we calculate with that it will be fast but the resolution will be bad so we go to element size and say for example extra fine and now it's calculated now we have all these little fine triangles and with those we can do the calculation now so we go on study go to step one frequency domain and here we have to define the frequency and there we can say it's the speed of light divided by some wavelengths for example 500 nanometers next step would be to perform the simulation so we, we right click on study and say compute and then we wait until the computation is finished and there is our solution uh, we get already a results node with a graph electric field with a surface plot where we can adjust some expressions we can say what is plotted here so here we can just define whatever what norm e is i will tell you in another tutorial but uh, let's take a look what we can plot here we could for example uh, click on this button and replace the expression and we have a lot of expressions that we can select for example the electric field the um, x component we could plot and then we say plot it and this is how it looks or we could say we want to have the square of it this is how that looks or if we want to add the y component and square it this is what we get and we could we might as well take the square root to make uh, since it is just uh, two-dimensional this would be the normalized electric field and here we go so our dipole is going like that and these are the electromagnetic waves going around or we could also uh, take the normalized power so this is you could click here and go to electromagnetic waves find power and this would be emw uh, power in x direction and y direction z direction i squared them all took the square root and this is how it looks like and uh, we cannot see much but if we go to manual range and say we want to have it from zero to whatever to the 14th and then we see okay this is the radiated power it's uh, perpendicular to the dipole and it's uh, it's perpendicular to the dipole okay so that was the first tutorial very short just explained what is possible and in the next tutorials I will show you how to do everything step by step and how to define things and how to extract lines and da data profiles. And of course so. you can download the MPH file from my webpage where you can see every step that I did and play around, set up different things and so on.